So we have Soji um, right now uh, joining us live on the show. Good to have you with us, Soji. Hi, Soji. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Roka. Yeah, good morning, Soji. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. Have you recovered from that um, beating from Bayern Munich? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Udoka, I tell you, hmm. uh, there was no moment of dullness. Uh, what happened did not entirely surprise me, hmm. like I told you on Saturday. So there is no recovering. Hmm. I'm okay. good to go. All right. Uh, now, we know that Kike Setien has been fired as manager of Barcelona. Now, moving forward, a couple of names have has been dropped as shortlisted managers who can likely take over from Kike Setien. And top of the list is Ronald Koeman. Are you happy? Uh, because we hear that Koeman has actually agreed terms with Barcelona. Are you happy with this? Yeah, Udoka, I tell you, every Barcelona fan around the world are happy that uh, somebody in the mode of Ronald Koeman has been considered for the plum job. Mm. I tell you, uh, there is no better candidate right now that will make Barcelona fans around the world happy than Ronald Koeman. Yes, uh, Pochettino has been touted in some quarters. But remember, Pochettino once played for bitter city rival, Espanyol, and he later coached him. Later um, during those spells, he's made some very comments, though they are not favorable towards Barcelona. The fans are not going to forget that. So for Pochettino, I don't see him coming. So everything points now to Ronald Koeman taking over as the coach of Barcelona. Mm. Now, moving forward, we hear that um, there's a kind of crisis. It's been rumored that they're in, into a bit of crisis now. And Ronald Koeman and um, Abidal have been uh, brought in. They've said these two guys would clean out Barcelona. There are rumors that Lionel Messi just might be leaving. There's also a rumor that um, a couple of players like Suarez might be heading back to Netherlands to play for his former club, um, Ajax. So... What do you think will happen? Do you think there will be a mass exodus um, at Barcelona? Because most of these players are actually above 30 years. Uh, Udoka, I tell you, that is what I expect. I expect a sweeping change. Mm. Uh, remember in 20, 2008, when Pep Guardiola came in, um, Barcelona with uh, Frank Rijkaard had won two La Liga titles and one Champions League. But because of the loss of the title in 2006, uh, 2006, 2007, then 2007, 2008, there was a need for Pep Guardiola to step in. The crisis was not even as big as this back then. But when he came, he made sweeping changes. The best players in the team, like Ronaldinho and Deco, had to leave. And you know what the result was afterwards. Barcelona became the best pl uh, playing entity in history of football mm. under Guardiola. I'm expecting the same thing to happen, Udoka. I tell you, if Lionel Messi decides to go today, well, <laughs> he's entitled to his years. That Barcelona meritoriously over the years. Mm. For all the years that Messi has been with Barcelona, Barcelona has won major, uh, uh, major trophies twice as Real Madrid, their bitter rival, has done. Mm. Coming close to them. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay, coming close to the era of Messi in Barcelona is Madrid with, uh, 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 with 14 trophies adrift. Mm -hmm. And you have Bayern Munich, 15 trophies adrift of Messi time in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. So Messi has served Barcelona. So if he decides to take a walk today, nobody will begrudge him. Oh, wow, that's a strong one from you right there because it looks like Barcelona's um, team has been built around that man, Lionel Messi. But let's see what next season holds for them. Fast forward to 2020-2021 season, do you see Barcelona bouncing back with a, trof a, a trophy or two? Yeah, um, I didn't get that very well, now, but I think we're talking about the next season. Yeah, do you see them winning something? Uh, well... <laughs> Udoka, it is too early for me to make any categorical statement on that. Yeah. But uh, very quickly, let, let us just look at the players in Barcelona right now. With the next coach comes in, we've had that uh, players like Umtiti, Suarez, like you mentioned earlier, Rakitic, Jordi Alba, Sergio Busque. I remember uh, Gerard Pique himself volunteered in the two 
be ahead of that sweeping changes if it is necessary. Gerard Pickett too might just leave. Uh, the play, uh, players like Vidal, Vidal are going, Samedo is going. And for the right prices, if any club come with the right prices for Dembele and Griezmann, they too might leave. And you talked about Messi. Messi too might leave. That tells you something. The spine of the team is leaving. So there's going to be a new beginning. Oh. And I cannot guarantee you that, no, there's going to be instant success like we had in the days of Pep Guardiola. Oh. But I know very soon, Barcelona fans around the world will be happy. Wow. Thank you very much, Soji, for sharing your thoughts with us this morning, as always. Thank you very much, Udoka, as always. All right. Keep it locked down and uh, stay safe out there.